let's understand one more concept of complex number that is general polar form so let's see how general polar form is written in complex number so for that i will take any complex number which is in polar form so let's consider z equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta so this is polar form of a complex number where r is modulus and theta is called as amplitude of that complex number so if we want to find general polar form of any complex number then you just have to add 2k pi in amplitude so here the general polar form will become r into cos of 2k pi plus theta plus i sin 2k pi plus theta here you can observe that i have added 2k pi in cos as well as in sin it means i am adding 2k pi in the amplitude of complex number now why it is called a general polar form so let's understand it now let's uh, take one example if i want to find cos of 30 so you all have calculator as well as you know the table so you can easily tell me that cos of 30 is root 3 by 2 right now let's see what happens if i will add 2 pi in this 30 so i will get cos of 2 pi plus 30 degree 30 is nothing but pi by 6 so i will write pi by 6 so this will give me cos of 13 pi by 6 now if you will try to find out value of cos of 13 pi by 6 then you will again get root 3 by 2 if you want to find it manually then let's try cos of 13 pi by 6 is equivalent to cos of pi plus or i can say 2 pi plus pi by 6 now cos of 2 pi plus theta is cos theta so i will get cos of pi by 6 and cos of pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 similarly if i will add 4 pi in this 30 degree that is pi by 6 let's see what happens so cos of 4 pi plus 30 that is pi by 6 will give me again cos of pi by 6 because cos of 4 pi plus theta is cos of theta and it will again give me root 3 by 2 so here you can observe that after every 2 pi angle we reach at the same point we can also understand this concept from the diagram let's consider this uh, let's say the angle is 30 degree it means the point can be at this place so this is angle 30 so when i am adding 2 pi in it 2 pi is nothing but 360 degree so after moving 360 degree i am again reaching at the same point when i add 4 pi i again move 360 degree more or i'll say i move 720 degree so after moving 720 degree i again reach at the same point so every time we get the same answer so general polar form we generally find out by adding multiple of 2 pi in the amplitude so hence i have represented as 2k pi where k is integer so it can take values as 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on so by adding 2k pi in amplitude we can get general polar form so whenever we will have any problem or any question which is asking about general value of complex number or in that question if we find any uh, like k or r, r type of term then all that time we can use general polar form to find out the answer so let's see one more example so that this concept of 
general polar form will be clear from your end. So, this concept will be clear in your mind.